to my channel today I have our final baby preparations for you so we're going to be taking you through a few different things so we've got some final things to set up in the nursery I've got lots of things to put away from the baby shower and we're also going to be collecting and installing our car seat and our pram so if that sounds like something you're interested in give it a big thumbs up and stay tuned to see more in the nursery and baby has a lot of soft cuddly toys so I'm just kind of arranging them in the cot yes I know we don't have the mattress in there yet but I'm just kind of arranging them to make them look nice and then we're moving on to the basket where we're storing a few more of the cuddlies as well and we actually got quite a few of these comforters or lovies for the baby shower so I'm just making sure that all the tags are off those before we arrange them nicely <laughs> all those things that I got for the baby shower so it is a case of popping any clothes in the wash making sure all the tags are removed and then putting away any of the toiletries so this is going to be a very sped up version and it's just literally like I say me popping everything away either into the wash or into their wardrobe yeah, to get so many nice things from our baby shower everyone was so kind and so generous I will leave the video links down below showing you a baby shower haul and also the video of the actual baby shower day so if you're interested in those like I say both of those videos will be linked in the description box down below
be the best damn lover you got I wanna mess up your covers I don't wanna meet your mother Never ever ask me how I've been Remember why you have my number I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do one so I'm guessing that's the size two and I've got this design and a little wetness indicator so if you're in the UK and you know where these nappies are from let me know because I want to know a what size this is recommended for I know we'll just get what size fits them but let's know what size and weight is recommended for these and then also if we like them so that we can get some more as well so let me know in the comments down below if you know where those nappies are from and now it's time to properly set up the snooze pod so we do have the actual base and the bassinet part set up but I've kind of kept the mattress in the plastic so that it didn't get dusty or anything but I thought it was about time we set it up now so I'm just unwrapping it and then I'm going to pop the mattress protector and also the sheet on and then I'm going to set it up all properly Once baby is actually in here, I'm not allowed these toys in here. That kind of goes without saying, it's like cushions on an adult's bed. They're just for decoration and obviously you're going to remove them before you sleep in them. So today is exciting. We are fitting our car seat. So we've got the Cybex Cloud Z with the base seat. So we're gonna see if we can fit it behind the driver's seat first of all. And if not, then it'll go behind the passenger side. Is it gonna be a push there, do we think? Yeah, I reckon so. Cause it's not gonna sit right next to the seat, is it? You know, there it's against the back of the seat. Yeah. Isn't it? It's only just in. Yeah, I think we're going to need the instructions. This is definitely something that yeah, we need the instructions for. We're not just playing by ear. But I get the instructions. You get the, you get the lovely instructions in the boring bit. Nice. Ollie, it's really simple. It shows you pictures and what exactly to do. Yeah. It's really simple, that's why it's short instructions. Look, there's only a few that shows you what to do. What have we got? It's literally click and place, so that's why you don't need a lot. Right, so. So then we 
turn on the right way up. <laughs> uh, right, so that's in there. We... Shall I move my seat forward so we've got more room to play? Um, no, that might be good. Oh, there is some instructions on this side too, and a QR code. Oh. Ooh, what does that do? I don't know. Which way is the front and which way is the back? Yeah, so I think this is the back, isn't it? I don't know. We, I think we slot them in over this. Well, we've got the ISO yeah. fix fitted, so let's bring the car seat round and have a look. I feel like this comes in. I think that's where we... Oh yeah, so that's, that's the wrong way around then. Because obviously we've got to do it facing us. It locks that bar in place, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's... You no, know, will that turn that way? Because it's a little seat. So now the car seat should be fitted. Yeah. And we're locked in. Where does it tell you? Oh. It's not locked in. So this is why we practice, Lee. And this is why you practice before you have the baby in it. Car seat. Have the in the car. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? I'm going to say car seat implementing. Practice two. Yeah. Handle for your baby. Yeah. Oh, she's got it out. Can she get it straight back in? Get back in. Oh, she's trying to put the baby over into the seat again. It's in. in. You got one green. Yeah. Two greens. They are in. Please turn. You're gonna be the one that's putting them in when we first get out. Like a pro. Don't try to do it fast, you don't get any medals for doing it fast, you know. <laughs> Come on, baby. Then, Put your baby back in. It goes in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. And then we'll, this is why you get ice effects. Look how good that was. We'll uh, learn to play around with this, won't we? Well, you don't need to play around with it, really, do you? Yeah. That's what I was just playing around with the day because you just have to fasten it how tight they are. But that's why, look, Lee, you don't yeah, need to exactly. you don't need to twist your back like that. That's how we have an ice fix. Turn it around. Yeah. So we've got a swivel so you can do it like this. Yeah, yeah. Can we just do it like that. Oh and then that avoids so like Lisa's broke because she was yeah. always you was always pulling it to the side, whereas now you just pull straight. Tuck it in and then spin them. Oh I already like it. Today is the day we are collecting the pram from my mum and dad's house. It was so exciting and I'm so excited to have it set up in our house now. We are all ready to go so here we are popping it into the car and then there's going to be a little clip of me pushing it round at home as well. to set up the nappy caddies now so we do have one set up on the nursery wall where we're just going to keep out a few of the daily essentials and then I also have one to start underneath the snooze pod for on a night and that's also going to be the one that we carry downstairs so I'm setting up both of those now
that I'm just giving you a quick overview of everything that I am currently storing in there obviously this probably will change once baby gets here and we know what we're going to be using more of but we definitely don't need in here so this is just it for now and if you'd like to see an updated video of what I keep in here once baby's been here a while and we know what we're going to be using all the time then give this video a thumbs up so I know to film that one in the future Now we are setting up one of my highly anticipated products, this is the Hatch Baby Rest Sound Night Light and everything else kind of machine. So I was super excited to receive this for our baby shower and here I am just setting it up at the side of my bed and I cannot wait to start using this once baby comes. So baby finally has a mattress and I mean a mattress for the big cot as well so obviously we've got one for the snooze pod already but today their big mattress for the big cot came in from the little green sheep so we can get that set up and then so did the other parcel which is the mattress protector for it so yay we can finally get that set up and as you can see the mattress is already in the cot now this is actually a couple of days later we did film unwrapping and popping the mattress in for another video but we decided to leave it for a couple of days just to air and also I wanted to make sure that we could wash the mattress protector and that could dry fully as well so like I say this is a couple of days later now when we're finally setting it all up all set up for baby I cannot believe that they're gonna be here hopefully in less than three weeks please give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed coming on this journey with me and I'll see you on the next one bye